friend, singer-songwriter, Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer, friend, and jack-of-all-trades, Chris Horn. And we're Those Those Taste Bud Guys. I'm always okay. I don't give a shit. I really don't give a crap. I just, yeah. Hello. So, welcome back. <laughs> We're having a good time. We are uh, doing stuff here. And, um... What are we doing? Well, I, it's it's a donor... Well, it's not a donor bottle. It's a loner bottle. Loner bottle. Loner bottle. Yes. There's loners and donors. This is a loner. And the owner of the loner... Yes. Is standing right behind the counter. And the reason we got a little bit missing on the top of this is we just cracked it open, but we went ahead and poured him a glass because I felt really bad about taking the first one. I in, think so. it's nice that someone gets to drink it live in person while we give our esteemed review and tasting notes of the whiskey. Yeah, the thing sit there and go, yes. Mm-hmm, no. Not no, even you close. Were, no. You're Not right. even close, you wrong <laughs> idiots. Anyways, uh,. Thanks for coming back. Uh, if you uh, would like to like and subscribe and support us on uh, Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and not TikTok <laughs> and uh, Snapchat and all that good stuff. And, and Patreon. If you would like to really honestly help us out for a small amount, uh, we have fourteen dollars. Four, yeah, fourteen dollars would be great. We also have well, a twenty-five dollars. We already hit the four dollars. Um, but four dollars is an approachable amount. If you're poor, you can probably afford once a month to buy us a beer for $4. If you're not poor, my name's Chris. <laughs> um, no, seriously, guys. Uh, if you can join us on Patreon, uh, we're going to start doing some extra little things on there. And you get some stickers and uh, glasses and coasters and all some fun yeah. stuff. It would, um, it would help greatly because, you know, I mean... If you buy weekly, it does add up after a while. So. Absolutely. Yeah. And we really want to do some traveling, and we want to do some live shoots, and uh, that stuff's semi-expensive. Yeah. I mean, you know, there you go. Anyway, so if you enjoy it, if you could help us out, appreciate it. If you can't, no worries. We're still right here. It's going to remain free. We are going to do everything we can to not put any kind of ads or anything on it, because that is not how we want to try to support ourselves. Yes. Uh, today, let's talk about this loaner bottle, because it's very interesting looking. Have you ever heard of this before? I have an hour ago. not heard Me of this neither. ever. We are working with Sonoma Distilling Company. Which I would have thought would have been one. Right. Uh, we're working with their Cherrywood Rye Whiskey. Uh, so this is, it's nice that they have the mash bill right on the front. 80% yeah. rye, 10% wheat, 10% cherrywood smoked malted barley. I like so, some of that. Yeah, no, it's it's got a great color to it. It's yeah, a color good looking bottle. Exciting. This bottle actually reminds me of uh, Hudson. Um, okay. It's the same shape. It's nice. Um, <clears throat> so, why don't you pour us a couple glasses? I will okay. tell you about how this got started. Tell them who gave this to us, too. Uh, Jared gave us this bottle. Well, loaned us this bottle. bottle. <laughs> <laughs> he gnaws emphatically behind the camera. Says, he says, no, 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 you're not taking that home. Um, Which that means it must be good, otherwise he just said, nah, you can't. That's what I'm thinking, yeah, because we've had a couple of the loaner bottles that stayed because the purchaser didn't like it. Yeah. Um, oh, man, I can smell it from here. Mm, this is going to be a Hurry good up. one. Okay, uh, so this guy, uh, Adam, I believe is his name, um... I think he maybe is working with his buddy, I'm not sure, but he was from San Francisco, moved to New York, worked in the financial sector for a while, came back to the Bay uh, Bay Area and helped his friend distill some stuff and said, I like this. I would like to do this um, and started this thing. So that's mostly all I know about this. Now, this is a whiskey. It's not a bourbon, right? It doesn't meet the qualifications for I a don't bourbon, think so, so we don't I think know. it's just a whiskey. So right? It's know. a rye whiskey, though, which immediately a, gives it a plus one. Yes. Oh, yeah. For me. Oh, it's got a, a, a super high rye mash bill. Um, so we don't know how long this has been aged, but... I'm trying to decide if this reminds me more of the Muskogee mash or the Rock Town. That's exactly where I was going, yeah. Man, okay. So the Rock rye town. and Rock wheat... Town. Rock tone? Okay. Yeah. The Ryan wheat in it is wow. I mean, it's just this dirty, gritty, smells like a hay barn. It does. 
I'm interested to see if I like this. This is right up your alley. It's really molassesy, if, that, just a, if that's the word. Just on the nose, <laughs> just on the nose, this is not what I generally like. Although I do like smoked stuff. Oh my god. I love it. I, I could, love it. That if is. Could, if I could lick my mustache more, I would. Um, Tyler's still here. He can lick your mustache. <laughs> I'm just thinking there's a lot of weird things that I've said in my life. That may be one of the worst, actually. <laughs> if I could lick my mustache more. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Man, there's a lot to that. So, first <clears throat> blush. It has this sticky sweetness to it, like a molasses. Well, the, like the nose is... The nose. Here, here's the thing. I don't like the nose, but I don't... Oh, I do. It's overly sweet. It is sticky. Um, it's pungent, and I've had bad... But it has that little little bright sweetness on the end of it. Bad experiences with whiskeys with this nose. However, once you make it past that, the liquor is... Delicious. Well, what do you what do you get off the liquor? I now I will. That's got a hell of a burn on the back. What is the proof on that? Good. <laughs> no 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 no. I don't I don't see it. Oh, 95.6 proof. Okay. So so it's fairly high proof. <clears throat> so the fruit factor, the stone fruit, is mm -hmm. very forward. Okay. But there's a light smoke on it. Very light. And like a good, not like a scotch. It's, not, it's like more a like the brimstone. Scotch. But yes. not but a different yeah. wood. Yeah. A different wood. Um, I get the wheat in it. It is. It Absolutely. is. It is bright. It is hay varnish. Um, it's pretty tasty. Um, I think hay varnish sums it up in one word. Yeah, but yeah, in a pretty, really good way. Pretty tasty. Um, I'm gonna break. Uh, I know we probably already had the banner run across of what this cost, but I'm gonna break the fourth wall and break my eye contact from here to. Here, what did they cost? About fifty a bottle. That's. I think it's it's, it's right there. <clears throat> Might that's be worth good. it. That's good. For me, no doubt, hand oh. down, that is a. It's ninety five proof. You probably already said that, but I was too immersed in my drink. Said that. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> I. This is good. Now I want to compare. All right. Do you think? I think the Arkansas barley is probably the. Right one, right? You know, yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay. Because if it's not that, it's the Muskogee Mash, but I think it's this one. Once you get us another glass, we're, so this is from Rocktown Distillery. This has a fairly similar nose to it and profile. That episode's we, up here. We think. Yeah, it does. It does. I think that, uh, I think we're going to be impressed with the Sonoma, but. Color-wise, it's super similar. Now this one's more bright and cherry smelling. Almost like a um, there's a different fruit in there. Like this is like a maraschino cherry. I gotta put just a splash more in mine to get. Yeah, yeah, that's yes. Yeah, you know, of course, we need a little more to get really, really understand how see, this tastes. See, big tattooed arm come over here and jerk me <laughs> off the screen. You know, I poured too much. This is a mellower uh, nose on the fruit. The smoke come, comes now, forward. This isn't more. a rye either. This was, what was it? It's just barley. 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 Yeah. yeah. So, ooh. I think that's where the similarities are at, is it's just that dirty, dusty smell. This is the rock town? Yeah, it's the rock town. Yeah, I mean, it, this smells like a barn as well. It kind of makes that one... On the nose, less. How does it go? It don't. They don't compare. They do compare. That's exactly what I don't like, and what scared me about this about the nose. Although I will say that the barley, Rocktown barley, is infinitely better than the hickory smoked. Oh, I still like that. I know you do. I know you. I like that. It's crazy. This is this is one I would keep <laughs> in my shelf all the time. As is this. Though they are pretty similar. Uh, yeah, I enjoy this one uh, a whole lot better. Though we got this one local, that one I had to drive to Little Rock to pick up, so that's fair. That might make a difference. On Someone mentioned what on my counter. A, uh, a Manhattan, was it? Or no, an old fashioned with this. 
So there's a bright cherry note in that we haven't talked about. Yes. And this is, um, I don't think we actually said it out loud, uh, cherry wood rye whiskey. So um, there is a bright cherry note in there. Yeah. Even though they're supposed to be like leather, new leather. And all this other oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's tasting notes on the bottle. Let's read those real quick. Did we hit any of them? Uh, I said, oh, yes. Uh, dried figs. Yeah, I said that was dried eggs a while ago. Or fried eggs. Because <laughs> I can't read. Fried eggs. Dried figs. I mean, the same thing. And toast is what the, I said. Fried eggs and toast is how I read that the first time. Because I'm an idiot. Toasted almonds. So, now, that's something that... Uh, So usually nut flavors is not something. When I pull it out, it's usually walnut flavors. It's not almonds. Yeah, I'm I'm heavy on pecans myself, but I can see that. Uh, Brandied cherries, which is absolutely. Yeah, the cherries in new leather, not your grandpa's leather, not your great great grandfather's horse tack. This has got a new leather. This has got a fruit like an aged brandy. It really is just Mm -hmm. strong. It's quite good. Oh, that's really good. It's really good. I'm an- anxious to see how long we can milk this to get another taste of this in this episode before Jared know. kicks us off got, the camera. I think we got to just stand here and let the camera run dry? I think so, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a 128 gig SD card. I'm pretty sure. You said we had two hours, could, right? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's not Jared. I'm still looking at Jared. I don't even know what's going <clears> on. <throat> So, <laughs> oh, oh, apparently this episode—it's oh, it's, it's just uh, this episode's about to run a little long. Yep. <laughs> um, um, okay. Anyways, all right. Good whiskey. Very good. Very good. And I'm glad you like it. I know this isn't in your wheelhouse. It's not, but I do uh, like this. This is firmly in the middle of the stuff that I really, really like. Yeah. So I'm tickled you like it. I would so love- that being said, between the two, I would put this on a shelf just because I know I have someone else who come and drink it. Well, that's fair. Um, real quick, also on the cocktails. Now, the more I think about it, I would love to make a Manhattan with this because I Manhattan, really? Yeah, because I don't want to water down these flavors. These flavors are really fantastic, and I just want to add just a, a hint of bitters and maybe it's a little vermouth and just drink it. I'm like my mule out of it. So, um, all right. Well, until next time. Whether it be the whiskey you're bumming, the food that you're eating, or the bottle you're getting loaned, I really screwed him up again. Uh, grab Close a buddy. Your burn. Gra- gra- grab a buddy. Try something Sh- new. Try something new. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days I'll get him his lines. It's quite good. Freaking delicious, dude. I, I get really heavy here. Sure.